uh, Capricorn, I feel like you wanted to know if someone was all in. Um, I feel like they are. All right. Or this is you. You're all in. But I also, I feel like it's important to acknowledge that this is not the first go around. This is not the first try. This is not the first time. But as of right now, <laughs> somebody's all in this time. That's important. Okay. Forgiveness doesn't mean that we become naive. Trying again does not mean that we forget what we've learned. All right. Anyway, this is your weekly reflection. Thanks for clicking on this video. All right. Let's see what you experienced this past week. Um that you were meant to learn from. I feel like it has to do with fashion or somebody's really into fashion. There you are, the King of Pentacles. Okay, show me um, Capricorn's Weekly Reflection Spirit. All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody's really comfortable or likes to live comfortably. All right, is that a problem? The Hermit? Okay, I guess so. And the nine of swords. Like, all right, I'm going to keep going, but I just, I want to, it needs to be highlighted here because I feel like someone is on the verge of changing themselves for another person. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go on a rant. <laughs> yeah, temperance and the eight of cups. Um, so we, we, we ultimately change and evolve as human beings, right? It's inevitable. Um, in relationships, that means we change by ourselves. We change. It's just a way of life because we're, we're meant to. We're meant to learn, as I said, from our experiences, grow, apply them appropriately. And that just is the cycle of life. Um, however... Changing for someone else is indicative of not having learned the lesson. Um, well, if we don't learn the lesson on our own, that means that our mindset has not shifted. And if our mindset has not shifted, those behaviors are not going to be automatic. Those behaviors are going to be driven from someone else's desires and someone else's direction. And so there's a difference between um, evolving with another person and having that level of understanding as we move forward and, and we're committed to this and changing when you're not ready or when it's not your time to change or moving in a particular direction that is not meant for you to go in because it's in, in accordance with someone else's trajectory and not your trajectory together. I digress. Yeah, the um, four of pentacles. There you are. Okay. Yeah, but it's like somebody's on the precipice of change. Temperance. And the nine of wands wanted to show up, though. <laughs> All right. It, it's not... Again, I don't think that it's necessarily... You know, somebody's changing and then their life's going to be worse. I don't see that at all. I think that it is a um, positive thing where it can, yeah, justice. You know, it's it's not that it's a bad change. It's just a matter of how it's happening and am I actually learning? Because, again, changing for another person or just kind of like, going with the flow and allowing someone else to lead your tra trajectory does not evolve the mindset. The mindset has to evolve. That's that's where it starts. And if somebody doesn't actually believe, yeah, judgment. If somebody doesn't actually believe truly that they um, 
have a desire to make a significant life change like this, it's going to backfire. I don't feel the need to pull any more cards here. I feel like that's it. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get an oracle in and then I'm going to close out. All right. All right. I, I was getting the number 12 at the beginning of your reading. Interesting. It's coming back up again. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, 12 is the hangman card. Yeah. All right, you could be dealing with the Pisces. You also have Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, all right? This has to do with that full moon. Something was revealed to you or to this person, another person here. This is this is um, very significantly attached to the full moon. Full moon was in Libra. All right. All right, anyway. Yeah. All right, and it, it's taking me back to fashion again. Somebody, so this ha maybe this has to do with money, finances, resources. Maybe maybe someone is saying you need to cut back, or you're telling someone else this you need to cut back, or we can't go on vacation anymore, or I don't know. There's something like this. I'm not gonna pull any more cards, okay? All right. Um, I just heard Justine. All right. Can you? One for Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. All right, so you definitely have a new beginning coming in here. That's clear with the hermit to the wheel. It's just a matter of how do I feel? What do I want my life to look like? That's what the hermit does. So take a time out here or this person is taking a time out. Somebody's trying to figure out what's where's the star for me? <laughs> you know, what do I wish for? What do I hope for? What What is going to bring me fulfillment, peace, uh, make me to feel secure? Be, feel, receive abundance. All that you desire is achievable. Yeah, it is. Okay. You have to believe it, though. <laughs>